Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is a She Guy Shadow. This video, I basically want to do a review on the Havana Twist that I have and the hair used for the Havana Twist. It's not a very good idea, in my opinion, now that I've been wearing my Havana Twist for a week, to have them as long and thick. Um, I didn't realize that for me, a person who likes to wear a lot of different styles, this length and this size have been not as easy to style. Okay, I tried a couple of styles throughout the week and left my scalp where it was just, you know, of course covered up and I don't know, the heaviness of the braids and the amount of braids that I have because I have so much hair, um, it didn't work out like I wanted it to. But let me get into talking about the hair itself that was used. And just a quick disclaimer, the brand Zuri that I use for the Molly braiding hair, I am not soliciting or advertising for the company itself. This is just my personal opinion about the hair. Okay, and I did purchase this with my own money. Um, the Marley Braid hair is not as soft and it is supposed to have that kinky texture, of course. But um, I found out after the fact, after I had these installed, that basically the Havana Twist hair is a lot softer and a lot better to use for the Havana Twist. Now, the next time I get Havana Twist, because I will get it again, um, I will definitely be using the Havana Twisting hair. I was able to see um, the hair, like I said, after I had this installed. And in my opinion, the Havana Twist hair is a lot better, a lot softer. Um, you get a little bit more action per pack. And um, just the overall reviews from some people that have actually had the Havana Twist installed using the Havana Twisting hair, they give it two thumbs up and they say that it works a lot better. Now, for right now, I say that I'm going to keep these in for another three weeks. I initially intended to keep them for eight weeks. I know that I will not be able to keep this in for eight weeks. It's just not going to happen now that I have them in and I see how they feel um, as far as the heaviness of them. And also for my scalp, I don't know why I forgot that synthetic hair with my scalp just doesn't work. What I've been doing is I've been spraying my scalp with this um, Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Reconstructive Elixir and I just go in and I'll, you know, spray my scalp because I don't want, of course, to neglect my hair just because I have these. Um, I also will go in lightly and work it in so you know, I'm keeping my scalp moisturized and um, hydrated and all of that good stuff. Um, oh, basically what I didn't like about this hair initially is it was a lot of shedding, um, a lot of frizz. You have to go back over them and cut off that uh, loose hair that has basically uh, frayed as it was twisted. Um, and also, as we all know, in the natural hair world, you have to tie these up just like you would have to tie your hair or any other braids up with a satin silk type bonnet or um, scarf. So at first, I was trying to put it all up and wrap it, and it was so heavy, and it was very hard to sleep. That was another thing, but that's just in the size and the length, once again, and how many Havana Twists I have. That That's basically the reason why it's so heavy and kind of cumbersome for me. But, um, yeah, this is the Havana Twist. Like I said, I had them installed a week ago. And I'll keep them probably another three weeks. Might try for four. We'll see. But um, I like them. Overall, I do give it two thumbs up as far as the style. 
love the style the hair like I said this time around I had to learn the hard way next time around I'll definitely use the Havana twist hair and um, we'll go from there so I thank y'all for tuning in as always stay positive love bye